Oh, hi there. We all know that working in a meth lab is dangerous. But what most of us don't realize is that chemicals from food and beverage packaging can be just as harmful. It just takes longer for those chemicals to catch up with us. More than a thousand studies published in the best scientific journals show that over time, the chemicals we absorb every day from food, beverages, our environment, can cause cell and hormone changes that contribute to cancer, obesity, type 2 diabetes, reproductive disorders, even Alzheimer's and heart disease. It's hard to understand how this could happen because the chemical amounts from each of these sources seems way too small to be harmful. But get this, the Centers for Disease Control has shown that those chemicals are continuously present in your blood and in the same concentrations as your hormones. They can even act as hormones. This means that even in small doses, plastic chemicals can cause you serious damage. What's more, these chemicals are all around us. They are found in almost all plastic packaging and food containers, beverage cans, drip coffee makers, and popular gadgets like soda streams and Keurigs and a lot more. How can it be that we are so constantly exposed to dangerous chemicals? After all, federal regulations say all those things are safe. But there is a gigantic loophole. None of these chemicals have ever been studied directly in humans because they're considered potentially hazardous. Because of that, every university and organization that approves human studies say it's unethical to deliberately expose humans to them in a scientific study. So we might assume that if the government says BPA and other environmental chemicals are safe, that it would be OK using them in human tests. But we'd be wrong to assume that. Follow me here. The same chemicals in your body and mind, chemicals that the government insists are safe, are so potentially harmful that researchers cannot test them on humans. Keep this in mind. Just because a product meets government standards for chemical levels, like all of these do, does not mean they're safe. And that does mean you and I have become lab rats, even without our permission. But there's a way for us lab rats to turn the tables. And you can play a key role by supporting our groundbreaking study, the first one of its kind ever on humans, and the best part, it's totally ethical. I'm Louis Perdue. I'm the chairman and co-founder of the Center for Research on Environmental Chemicals in Humans. I'm also leading the Stealth Syndrome Study, which has been approved by the Committee on Human Research at the University of California San Francisco Medical School. It took us four years of intense research and preparation to design that study, an original and totally ethical way to measure the effects of these chemicals on humans. With your support, we will test our human lab rats through a controlled reduction of the plastic chemicals already in their bodies instead of adding more. In the process, we're going to use gold standard measurements like hospital blood tests and DNA testing to measure the health effects as the chemical levels are reduced over time. Understandably, our study protocol has upset government regulators who don't like to have their judgment challenged. Private industry doesn't like it because it threatens the protections against lawsuits that the current regulations offer them. And the scientific establishment, well, the scientific establishment is upset because they didn't think of our idea first. That is why we're asking for your help. Your donation will make it possible for us to complete this project, to discover and measure the real effects of these chemicals on people, and hopefully to find ways to improve health for you, your friends, loved ones, and millions of others around the globe. So, so what's in it for you? For our donors, We'll be posting more videos, publishing an insider's blog following the step-by-step -step process and results of the study. We'll be writing more articles at StealthSyndromes.com and giving you loads of tips you can use immediately. This includes the same recipes, food choices, and cooking techniques we'll be using in the study. You can become your own lab rat. So please, check out the links to our research Click over to see the fun perks provided with each donation and become part of our team.
This is an opportunity for you to play a role in better health for yourself and others. Your donation will be tax deductible because we are an IRS approved nonprofit. You can find out more about us at creshcenter.org. Thank you very, very much. We look forward to having you on our team.